Hi folks, just a couple of things just to um, point your way um, for helping you with the second paper and the dynamic development topic. Um, firstly, a quick definition of what development is. Development is when a country tries to make itself better by improving the living standards of its population. Um, we can measure this using something called development indicators, of which the most famous one is the Human Development Index. And Human Development Index is a preferred measure because it looks at social factors. It doesn't just look at how wealthy a country is. It measures life expectancy, education, typically adult literacy, and GNP. Google GNP, discover what that means um, and how that's useful to geographers. Types of strategies that countries can use to help um, uh, move through the development stages you can have top-down strategies, generally speaking, that come from the government and feed down to the people like the enormous Three Gorges Dam project in China designed to create hydroelectric energy um, and uh, fuel the, uh, the industrial revolution that has occurred and is occurring in countries like China. Bottom-up strategies tend to be a bit more um, personal-based um, and they're feeding up from charity groups, often NGOs, in which I use an example here from our very own Mrs Hendon's um, Kenyan charity. Um, PPP is an idea that looks at purchasing power parity, which sounds like a mouthful and I challenge you to use that in conversation in the next 24 hours, but it compares how much somebody can spend their money with, how far their money will go from one country to the next. Um, and typically that looks at how costs of living may be different in different countries. So a loaf of bread may cost comparatively more um, in another country um, where incomes are low. Rostow's model of development is something you will need to know for the exam. It's ever so simple. It measures the level of development being um, an emerging developing country through to advanced countries on the y-axis over time along the bottom. And it looks at society starting off in a tribal traditional basis, moving to a position where they have what's needed to take off and move into the industrial period and then start to consume products. The UK is up here, age of high mass consumption. The newly industrialised countries, the LIDCs, um, sorry, the EDCs are, um, are in the drive to maturity and countries that are taking off and preconditions for takeoff are the emerging developing countries. There are two case studies um, that I gave you in the booklet that you had today in class. Um, there are two case studies that I've put in for dynamic development and resource reliance. Please make sure that you know them and that you've read them because, of course, we haven't studied those topics. So that's tonight's um, YouTube wrap-up, and I hope those are things that will be of interest and of use to you in preparation for your exams. Good luck, folks. Bye.